Good morning everyone. Today I have a Orca Slicer video for you guys. Should also work in Bamboo or maybe some other slicers. Um, I had a model I was trying to print and I used um, you can see here there are some layer uh, lines here. The, 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 these lines here are actually from uh, uh, an insert I made and I wanted to print these in PVA so that the continuation of the print had a really really solid uh, foundation but uh, originally this worked well and then suddenly I started getting some problems uh, because in my newer models I started getting this problem here. As you can see, there is a gap between the support interface, which are these two lines here. See these two lines here? There's a gap here. This is the edge. I can show you on the picture how it looks like when you print it. Uh, hang on a second. So if you can see, but you get a gap. You see on the side there, you see it warps because there is nothing that holds it down. And there is like a gap. And I couldn't for the life find out what caused this. Damn mosquitoes. And so I decided, okay, I just need to start and do this one by one. So I took uh, an old model, which is the one you see behind here, and I took the newer model, which I'm trying to print, which is here, and I just looked at them side by side, one setting at a time. And eventually I did find the setting that was the cause of this. And if you see on the support tab in Orca Slicer, you have something called top set distance. When I looked at my old model that I was trying to print, this was set to zero. And when I looked at my uh, newer slicer settings, this one was set to two. I have never changed this. So apparently this is something that came out in a different version of Orca Slicer. Um, so why this happened, I have no idea. Um, if you hold your mouse over these, it says on the bottom, the set gap between bottom support interface and top parameter, and the object parameter. So it means the, the distance between the support interface and the object itself, which is kind of uh, logical if you think about it here. And at, on this one is the opposite, term is the set gap uh, between top support interface and objects. and I guess this setting exists if you are printing with a big nozzle height and you want to, um, like you don't want to squash the the layer when it's getting pushed out, so you put a little bit of distance so the you get a, a thicker layer line. Maybe that's the that's that's the reason why. But look what happens when you close this. I can try to set it to one first. You can see. See, that is one. If I go to quality and I uh, reduce the layer height to 0 0.8, which I usually print with, because I want a fine print, and we slice it again, it should probably be two lines again. Now, but you can see that it becomes a bit skew on the on the side here, so the layer is a little bit skew. But uh, I think I get three lines here now if I increase that to two again. So I get three lines here now because I increased the I reduced the layer height to 0 0.8. And if I set that to 0 0.1 again, like in my case, I'm gonna print. Um, 
semi-transparent uh, pet G. Uh, so I want have a little bit of layer line because then the, the, the light gets easier through. Now you see there's just two. And if you set this to two, then you should uh, probably just get one line again. Yeah, so now you see there is two. Um, because the, the, the support is 0 0.2 and then the quality you set the layer height to 0 0.2. So basically then you get one layer, uh, layer line difference. But as you can tell from this, this is a problem if you are trying to use this as the support interface which is supposed to create the floor for whatever you are trying to print and then you get a gap. The first thing that happens is that it cannot really reach uh, the support interface to rest the rest of the print on. Uh, so you get a gap and that causes instant warping on your printed parts. Let's see if I can show you again. <coughs> this is the part where I removed the support. I don't know if you can see it so well but you can tell the tell on the corner there it's really really warped and that is because it really really don't have anything to rest on so uh, my tip for you guys is uh, if you are going to print with supports always leave the uh, support and Z hop distance to zero because then your prints will be okay because here you can see that it's printing correctly and it's resting on the support interface so that was just a quick video today telling you that I've managed to figure out the problem with my uh, my print so hope this was uh, helpful and like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next one.